Hello everyone, this is Suchit Khandagale and in this video we are going to discuss about types of joints. The first one being the inner joint. Inner joint always returns only the matched records from both the tables. So suppose we want to display the names of employee along with their location, the query would be select ename comma location from emp comma department where emp dot department number is equals to department dot department number this query we have already done in a previous tutorial this is nothing but a simplest example of inner join only where we but in this uh, query we specified the tables using a Cartesian product. So we specify two tables, tables gets multiplied and then we filter on the basis of employee number. The same query can be rewritten in a way such that select employee name comma location from employee inner join department on employee dot department number is equals to department dot department number so this query will also return as the same result but what we have done over here is we have specified the inner join clause in which we specify the columns on which these two tables needs to be inner join so inner join it returns only match records from both tables. Next type of join we will going to study is outer join. So as the name suggests outer join will return us the matched records as well as the unmatched records from the tables. So if you have seen over here in this table only first five records will have some department so they are matching with some department number and from department number there is no employee who is working in department number 40 so over here in department fourth record is unmatched and in employee the sixth record is unmatched so outer join is of three types left outer join right outer join and full outer join left outer join it returns match records as well as only unmatched records from the left table right outer join match records along with unmatched records from right table and full outer join will return match records along with unmatched records with both the tables so in outer join whenever unmatched records are written the other value is displayed as null so you'll see one example so if you want to select same employee name comma department name from employee left outer join department on emp dot department number is equals to department dot department number so this is essentially the similar query that we have written in previous example just in place of inner join we have specified it as left outer join so for first five records we will have some department numbers so their department name will be displayed plus since we have specified the left outer join any unmatched record from the left table that is the employee table will be also displayed so these five records plus the unmatched record that is the sixth record which do not have any department number so it does not have any department name so the value will be displayed as null you see that yes so we get five records with their specific department name and the last record gets the value as null in place of left if we specify right outer join what will going to happen is this first five match records will be displayed but instead of unmatched from fifth 
uh, sorry the first table we'll see this production department and since in that department no employees working so we'll have e name as null and department name as production yes so once again left outer join and router right outer join are used when we want to display some unmatched records from either a left table as well as or the right table and if we use it as full outer join then up to this we were getting only six records now we'll get the seven records first five unmatched sorry first five records that are matched then the sixth record that is unmatched from employee and the last record that will be unmatched from department okay so we'll see the next type of join self join okay self join is used when a table is joined to itself so we'll see one example in this employee table we have written a column that is manager but we haven't used it yet what this manager column indicates that the manager of employee number 1 is employee number 2 that means the manager of aaa is bbb the manager of bbb is ccc ccc there is no manager id so no manager for ccc for employee number 4 the manager is 5 so this one so what if i wanted to display the name of employee along with the name of their manager so if the employee name is aaa i should get its manager name as bbb so now in this case we will assume that these are virtually two different tables okay so we'll make a cartesian product on these two tables so we'll have 6 into 6 36 records and we will filter the records on the basis of employee number and manager number in previous uh, join examples what we were having a condition on two different tables so one column was primary key another column was a foreign key so here department number is a foreign and department number over here is a primary key but in self join both primary key as well as foreign key uh, are there in a one single table itself so here employee number is my primary key whereas manager is our foreign key so let's take a look at the example select let's say i have a employee as e dot e name and manager as m dot e name from employee we will give it a alias name as e and the manager information will also come from the same table emp but we'll alias it as m where so our condition is where employees manager id and managers employee id are equal so if we are considering e as one different table and m as another table so the manager of e two has to match the employee number of manager so where condition is e dot mgr is equals to m dot e number and we will also use the column analysis so e dot e name will display it as employee name and m dot e name will display it as manager name okay so for employee number aaa the manager is bbb and so on next example uh next point to discuss whenever we are going to use self join it is important that we must specify a table level alias for a table because if we do not then there is no way to distinguish which employee table we are referring to so here there are virtually two instances of employee table and we mention it by e dot and m so we'll see the last type of join that is the natural join so suppose again the same example 
we want to display the employee name along with their department name so in normal inner join we would have written a query like that select ename comma dename from emp comma department where emp dot dpt number is equals to dpt dot dpt number or even if using inner join we would have written emp inner join on employee dot department number is equals to department dot department number what happens in case of natural join is that we need not specify any where clause on which condition as the name suggests it automatically identifies the primary key and foreign key of two tables and it matches it so when we are going to use natural join the only thing that we need to specify is select ename comma dename from emp natural join department so we no, need not need to specify that on which column we want to filter the records so whenever we specify natural join records are automatically filtered on the basis of primary key and foreign key so in order to use natural join it is must that while creating our table we must have defined the columns as primary key and foreign key so even this query is going to return me the same result yes we get these five records along with their department name so that is all for the types of joins thanks for watching and happy learning